YouTube, make sure everything is good to go. Hopefully I didn't forget to stream to YouTube this time. Because sure last time I forgot to stream to YouTube, remember? <laughs> well, look, EORTs is live. Digital okay, so, in episode 39. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. So we're good. We're good. So you say we're on YouTube. D Live is up. D Live is up. We're good to go. And oh, do I want to do the whole sharing on the my channel? It's always a struggle, man. The struggle is real. <laughs> channel. All right. Oh, excuse me. It's a struggle is real, so nobody's joined in just yet. So we're where we can be funky. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Whoops. Get back there. <laughs> uh -oh. There's Twitch. Twitch says I'm good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a Twitch notification on my thing. And Mutt Man, <laughs> Mutt Man is streaming. No, Mutt Man, what, what are you man? doing, man? Yeah, let's see. Let's get that like that. Trusty sidekick. Things are beautiful. All right. All right. All right. All right. I see you. I see you. You debuted it. You debuted it. Your channel. <laughs> yeah. It was finally time <laughs> to do something. I don't know how often I'll do anything, but you know, on the Saturday or Sunday, you know, all you guys, you know, are, are uh, off. If I'm yeah. sitting around and drawing anyway, then why not? That's what I keep telling people. If you're going to be drawing anyway, if you're going to be drawing anyway, and you have the time and the space, because sometimes I'll do, I'll go, uh, Sometimes I go on Sundays. Hey, Evan, how you doing, bud? <laughs> Evan dropping the fam and the hail Raven, you know. Um, yeah, but sometimes I'll be on a Saturday or Sunday if my wife is not, you know, around. I'll, uh, you know, I'll either be gaming or I'll do some art on my own, mm -hmm. just because, you know, it's it makes it interesting. I just never really invite anybody because I figure everybody's busy, you know. So I just be like, all right, cool. But yeah, man, it's good that you uh, that you branched out, did it on your own, did the music. I checked it out. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, well, I've always thought that you know, if I if I did start something, I would call it the Sidekick Lounge. Uh, that kind of harkens back to when um, we used to have to work overtime at the office, and uh, we would put on lounge music. You know, right. on some internet channel, and uh, would listen to that stuff while we were working. We even, for a while, had uh, an iguana uh, in the office, so we were like the lounge lizards. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It was all right. <laughs> no, no, man, it's, it's not a bad thing at all. You know, but yeah, part of you know what I was doing, um, preparing, leading up to it was you know, picking out the music, putting together the playlist. And then of course you've got to have all of the uh, information that they want you to post. If you're going to use this song, you got to post this, the track information and stuff. Yeah. So I put, you know, had, I listened to everything I had. I picked out the ones that sort of fit together, made the playlist, you know, typed it all up. And so I, I put it in the description in StreamYard, mm -hmm. but then it didn't show up in the description in YouTube. Yep. So I had to go back and add it again afterwards just to make sure it was there. Yep. StreamYard description does not carry over to YouTube no. at all. I could, I, I, I wish I, I, I could have told you that little nugget of and, wisdom. And I thought maybe I had done something wrong because, you know, we're finished and a little while is going by and it's not showing up on on my channel, you know, it still says your channel has no content. I'm like, um, did I not save it or something? Did I do something wrong? I could no. still get to it. You know, it takes a while. It, uh, it takes, takes a while. Yeah. It takes a while because StreamYard is uploaded. Maranya, how you doing? Wow, I'm getting in on the ground floor of this bullpen tonight. Hey, Maranya. 
Uh, it takes a while because it, it's being recorded or done on StreamYard, and then it's being passed over to YouTube as an upload. So it takes a minute for some reason. Now here on uh, on DLive is automatic as far as I can tell. But yeah, man, that was pretty cool, man. Yeah, Maranya, you you getting in on the ground ground, on the ground breaking floor. And what we're working tonight is, Trusty, what are you working on tonight? I'm just loosening up right now, just doing some some hatching until I get warmed up. But then I'll be back to work on, yes, another commission for Pope Fire. <laughs> yeah, and I am working. Daddy Nightwing with Baby Nightstar. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, companion piece to the other one I did. So I'll, I'll render it up the same way with the markers around the outside so that they'll, they'll look nice together. Right, right, right. It's pretty much like a, a trip. If you do a third one, it could be a triptych. Yeah, this will be a diptych. A duel. Uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm pretty sure Pope Fire is going to be super happy with it. Well, I sent her the, the sketch um, for approval first, and she had a couple of suggestions, which I've incorporated. So hopefully she'll be she'll be very happy. Oh, nice. What's up, Tank? Welcome to the stream, Mr. 3D Rendering Ferret. Oh, yeah, that looked really sweet. The 3D Ferret is what we're going to call him now. Can we call you the 3D Ferret? Buzz is here. Be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> Have you seen those setups at, um, I saw it at, oh, what was it? I think it was Baltimore con where you can, uh, I don't know if they can do it there at the con, but you can, uh, go in, have uh, got like into a booth, uh, have your pictures taken from all different angles. And then they will make a little 3d sculpture of you with your clothes that. And that you're wearing and everything. I have not seen that all painted to look, you know, Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never seen that, but that's that sounds freaking amazing. It also sounds expensive. Yeah. It sounds pretty expensive. Amazing and expensive. You know? Uh, before E ask, beef and barley vegetable soup for dinner tonight. Tis the season for hearty soups here. <laughs> it is the season. She knows me so well. She yeah. knows me too well. We have a, a really good um, beef stew with sweet potatoes and carrots. That's from the Daniel plan. Um, we we taught the Daniel plan class at uh, our church a couple of times. Yeah. And oh boy, this is such a good stew. And of course, it's so healthy for you. And the my sons just love it. Every time you know we make it, it just gets devoured. Yeah, so yeah I did definitely the season. I did the Daniel fat. Usually we do it in January. So I haven't really done it as a as a yearly thing, like a 365. Oh, what the Daniel plan? Yeah. I usually like I, I usually did it, uh do it for January. My church does mm -hmm. it January time frame. Uh the Daniel fast. And you know, we, we try to we try to do it. When I can Yeah, you know, we don't do it all the time. You know, we're not strictly on Daniel plan right now. Sometimes we'll go back on it for a while. Um, and, but we always try to, you know, maintain certain, you know, aspects of it, even if we're not 100% sticking to it. Right. I think, uh, I think it's good though. Hey, Sapien, how you doing? But I think it's good. There are some good things about it. It's just, um, like, when you do the fast, then uh, there's no such thing as meats. Um, that's different than what we did. We didn't have a fast. You just, well, I mean, in the first like week to ten days, you were cutting out certain things, right? And then you could add a few things back in, like in the the next two weeks. Okay. You know, so yeah, but there was you weren't fasting. Um, yeah. Well, the way I charge this is like January, it's it's a Daniel fast, but it's basically the Daniel pan, uh, Daniel plan. 
which is basically, you know, uh, how do I explain it? Um, you know, it's like um, no meats. Let's see if I remember, mostly vegetables. Um, hey, can you all give me one second? I'll be right back. Maranya, Trusty is going to explain that to you, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, uh, DM you that stew on Twitter. Okay, I'll I'll go um I'll go look it up uh, in the cookbook uh, downstairs and I'll send it to you. Um, you know the basically uh, the Daniel plan. If you want just a, a quick, simple, cute little way to sort of remember the basics, it's if it's uh, made in a plant, don't eat it. You know, if it grows on a plant, eat it. <laughs> just basically, basically, you're trying to avoid processed things. And that really is one of the worst things for us is the over-processed food with all the stuff in it that we really don't need. Um, Cause you know, the, the more naturally you can eat, the healthier you will be. So it's essentially that. I mean, if you remember the story of Daniel and uh, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you know, the, in the, the Bible, and they refused to eat the food from the king's table. And they said, just give us vegetables and water. And uh, at first, the, the steward didn't want to do it because he said, if you guys, you know, don't stay healthy, then it, it's going to be me who gets in trouble. And they said, look, just let's try it for a little while. And, you know, at the end of that time, they were healthier than anybody else. So that's sort of the inspiration for it. So you can, um, if you're interested in the Daniel plan, just look it up online. Um, I, it was really started, was it Rick Warren's church? Was that it? Saddleback Church in California? I'm not positive, maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a, a class, you know, you can take cookbooks, um, videos to watch. Uh, it's, it's really pretty good. Um, I know another uh, comic book artist. Uh, oh, is Marshall? Oh shoot! Now I can't remember Marshall's last name. He lives in North Carolina, but he does it too. Um, not all the time, but uh, I know he has done it before. We've talked about it. But enough of that. <laughs> hard for me to kick the habit of pasta and blue box mac and cheese, but I try to eat as close to the source as possible. Well, that's good. That's good. I mean, you know, nobody's perfect. Um, if you just, you know, you do the best you can um, and hopefully, you know, you're doing yourself some good. Uh, all right. What size do I have here? Not even sure what size pen I'm holding. Oh, okay. Thank you, Skunk Girl. Uh, it was uh, Rick Warren in Saddleback Church. I thought so. It has been a little while since we taught the class. There's definitely some good recipes in there. There's a, uh, there's a smoothie. A uh, high protein smoothie that we have most mornings for breakfast bananas, blueberries, nuts, coconut oil, almond butter, stuff like that, you know, chia seeds. It's just it's really, really good. It's like having a blueberry milkshake for breakfast, but it's it's all healthy. It's great. And it keeps you regular. <laughs> so bonus. Yeah, the Unbreathable Skunk Girl is here saying hello to everybody. Quantified keto sounds horrible. All right, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Okay. I thought I thought I, what, I thought my head my headset broke again. Uh oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at that. She said her husband's on modified keto. That sounds torturous. A lot of people saying keto is the way to go. Uh, yeah, I guess. I haven't looked into it. I don't really know what uh, it's all about. No, it's uh, definitely about cutting carbs and sugars. That's what a lot of them are about. You know? It's cutting carbs and sugars. It says Monday. Mm -hmm. I got a little lost. I know I'm lost in the conversation. But yeah. <laughs> I'll pull five come in here and say show trusty when trusty's already on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's just a force of habit. It's like breathing to her now. Yeah, she needs to get glasses because she can't see. Poor Pope Fire's been sick lately, so I'm glad glad to see you here, Pope. I hope you're on the mend now. But there, there you go. Show bigger trust. Get ready for tree hugging Canada as a minority government gets elected. I'm gonna go <laughs> murder stuff <laughs> some video games. <laughs> That's right. Y'all are y'all are doing that right there. Forgot all about that. Well, I mean, why would I know about that? It's I have nothing to do with that governmental system. But that's my answer to everything too. Go and slaughter things in the video game. Well, I know I will never ever run for public office. Because once in college, I went to a Halloween costume party as Michael Jackson. So <laughs> yeah, your, your, your career is done. Can't do it. It's just that you can't work for Marvel either. I know, right? Well, there's that. My friend Ariel, when she heard I was going to do it, she said, "Well, I'll do your makeup and hair." I'm like, okay. <laughs> she had the makeup. She had a little curling iron. She wow. Enablers. Yeah. Enablers. It was a, a different time, a simpler time. Let's see. I had some teeth out. Seems buggers don't, don't clean equipment. I grow for blood tests. Oh, oh wow. He's had a bad day. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, thank you. It's freaky. I can't afford to go to the end of the month. So, yeah. Oh, no. That's, that's terrible news. Terrible news. Yeah, so she's like, show bigger, trusty. You know what, Pope Fire? Invite trusty to your stream and then show him as big as you want. He does enough commissions for you. You should give the man some love. Yeah, but the problem is I've only sent stuff to her one time. Oh. You know? Because she's like, no, hang on to it. You know, I'll get you to do another one. And then so I don't have to, you know, send the package every time I finish something. I'll send, you know, something with two or three things in it, which is very nice and convenient for me. So thank you very much. Yeah, that's nice. Well, I'll tell you what, Trusty does package the, uh, his artwork pretty well. Thank you. Yes, uh, from personal experience. Because I, I made him send me one thing. I didn't make him wait. I didn't tell him to wait. I said, look, hurry up, man. I'm just kidding. It's like, how many months are you going to work on that thing? <laughs> blah, 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 profile, blah, 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 ERTs. <laughs> uh, so I got to go to corner for a bite, really, and sitting there as I'm painting some main <laughs> man in a pink dress ready for Mars any day now, just as a bear. <laughs> oh, man. Got to love Canada. We got our own problems <laughs> in the U.S. Oh, he said he dressed as a bear. He can't run for office either. Yep. Yeah, but you can run for park ranger. That makes sense.
That makes sense. Our Galanian in the house saying, finally made it. All right. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget to like and share out to the peeps. Let everybody know that the great trusty psychic is drawing again. Another piece for, you know, somebody whose name I shall not mention, a nameless person. Yeah, I thought maybe, you know, I would do a, a regular show and I'll, I'll have a graphic from Driving Miss Daisy, but I'll have like me and Popefire and it'll be drawing for Miss Popefire. And that'll, oh, yeah. be, that'll be the show. That should be the show, man. That's that's gonna be uh, instant success, I think. You know, but hey, can't get mad at the young lady for continuously hiring you. I keep trying to get Cult of Raven to hire me to do something, but nobody's ponied up yet. So, so praise Starfire. Ryan says that lady you're working on, all she needs is Tan King, which she will have. A scar on the left side of her face, which she won't have, and black hair, which she will have, and she'd be one of my favorite LCs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a female version of the Borinquenir, which is my OC. And it was done by a guy named Kuya from uh, D Live, very good artist. But he colors it, he doesn't do inks, he just goes straight to colors. So he let me have, he let me borrow the pencils that he did for me so I could practice inking on them. And uh, Colonel says, already subbed. But yeah, uh -huh. I'll, I'll definitely look into that. Yeah, it's a female version of the one that Trusty did. A more playful version. For sure. For sure. Somewhere around here, I got the color one he did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Where is it? Okay, never mind. I'll find it again later. She says, I need to sleep, maybe. Oh, one of my creations, I mean. Oh, okay. Cool. That's very awesome, Moranya. Shoot. Popfire says, I need to sleep a baby night star. But baby night star. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You know, Trusty's going to do big things. He's going to save the stream, Pope. You can always watch it later. Yeah, I always, I always leave it on YouTube. If you need to go to sleep, you go to sleep. Hope Fire had strep throat, so she was oh doing poorly. That's no bueno. Mm -mm. That is no bueno. We had a stretch when my son, my youngest son, was younger. It uh, seemed like every time we went down to the Outer Banks, he got strep throat. Mm. Yeah, that's no good, man. That's no good. Mm. That's no bueno. Yeah, let me see if I can find that. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. So this is what uh, Kuya did. Let's see if I can show that. Yeah, maximize yourself. And see where I'm at. So uh, that's what Kuya did. You know yeah, that? that's nice. And that's kind of, you don't get that from the black and white drawing that uh, that I did, but that's kind of what I was thinking for the areas that were not solid black, you know, that right. it would be more of a dark gray. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what oh, I cool. told him. Very good. I told him, look, I think uh, black and gray Punisher style, you know, armor and whatnot. And uh, he did the rest, man. I, thought, I think he did an amazing job.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Baby with glowing eyes and Bob's already. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Uh, Pope well, Pope says, yeah. yeah, Pope Pius says, but ERT deserves to be trolled. Yeah, but this is cool. Yeah, Kuya did his work, man. He he did he did it up pretty good, pretty awesome. And um, like I said, he, he doesn't do inks. He just goes pencil straight to colors. And he does an amazing, he does some amazing work. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. And, uh, he did his streams pretty much every day on D Live. I know. In case know. anybody wanted to go check him out. Indeed, he is. Uh, he's a pretty good guy, man. Mm -hmm. Pretty good guy. Yep, I'll show Kuya, but I won't show Trusty. <laughs> Mainly because you already seen the drawing. He already showed it to you. I already know these things. So, well, oh, actually, I actually wanted to show that for Maranya. Yeah, there you go. Great minds thinking like Maranya. Great minds. Great minds here before you, before that woman has a conniption. Yeah, here I've got it upside down. So no, 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 no. Wait, don't put that way yet. Hey, woman has a conniption. <laughs> Hashtag trusty deserves respect. Trusty gets a lot of respect. Trusty gets a whole bunch of respect. He's part of the digital bullpen. Here we treat everybody with dignity, respect, and love. We don't, we don't do like other people, you know, like the people that go on Pope Fire show that get harassed and treated like dirt. You know, we, we treat people here with some kind of, some kind of dignity and love. So what I want to know is how, uh, from Pope Fire is how is the progress coming on relentless, you know? It's relentless. Relentless is the the online comic that she and Raggedy and uh, Dead Boy Speedy are doing. I know. <laughs> you finally oatmeal does something right, and just for that, I'm gonna drop him out of the stream. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. We then like you be said, all alone. I'll be all by myself. Oh, where is everybody? Where's Shinobi? Where's Josh? Uh, I don't know. Those are great questions. Um, uh, she says, we finally started uh, scripting, and I even did a practice comic about Pigeon and Lone Star. Nice. I love it. <laughs> I live a neat Quaker Oats. You need some? No, nah, I don't need any. <laughs> well, I, I hope you managed to go back and, and catch the pigeon that Gary Shipman uh, Drew during the auction the other night. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Gary Shipman is amazing, man. Gary is. He's a good guy. I wish he wouldn't have so many troubles with his doggone book, though. I, I am so ready to have that omnibus in my hands. Mm -hmm. But it's not meant to be. Patience, young Padawan. But, you know, um, it's just a thing that everybody else, you know, seems to already have it. It's just us hardbound guys. The people that opted for the hardcover, we're just having all kinds of issues. But hopefully soon, you know. Yep. <laughs> she said, look at the little light star. Canada has a light star. Maybe they'll start laughing at Canada. Ah, maybe. Okay, that's awesome though. Everybody's here. You know, we we got a we got a few people here. We got about ten folks watching. Greatly appreciate y'all for joining us. You know, make sure that uh, you hit the like and share button. That would be amazing. We would greatly appreciate it. 
Just the Jimmy and Trusty show right now. But, you know, but I know eventually, uh, you know, Manny, Manny's on. He, he's, he promised that he was going to not stream as much as early as he used to. Yeah. So as it's really, really early for him still in the afternoon. I think it's like 4 o'clock or 4.30 right now. Still getting home from work. Yeah, how many hours um, behind you is he? I think he's still like three hours behind me, four hours behind me. Wow. It, it's a big difference. Go to sleep, Pope. It is a big difference. It really is. 10.30 there. Yep. Uh, 7.30 here. 10.30 for Trusty as well. And Pope. Go to sleep, Pope. Catch a replay. Or catch us on Thursday. And you'll see more progress made. Man, my eventual project will be the Will be the books will be hardcover, one cover design, no variants, and done and ready to send out before I crowdfund. <laughs> Chrono says, start sending sheep and goats to Pope Fire. I guess to count. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That sounds cool, Mariah. Shoot, man. I'm I'm I'll be happy to see it. That's for sure. You know. I know we're uh, we're all definitely super stoked about uh Manny getting Skull Girl up and running. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be fun. Definitely, definitely. Definitely gonna be fun. Fun times. That was a that was a fun time that night, you know, when he launched um <laughs> the campaign. We were all together. That was good. Yeah. Except he didn't have his FAQs, so he couldn't launch. Oh, that was so funny. He was like, I don't have my FAQs. What? I can't think of no questions to ask myself. <laughs> Y'all ask me. Where we come hey. up with this skunk girl, a natural blonde? Was that it? Yeah, that was what. That was it. <laughs> yeah. That was definitely it. And when Boya did the countdown, and then there was no launch. No launch. Like failure to launch. We made up for it though. Oh yeah, we finished out strong. And it shouldn't be too much longer before we get Chango too. Oh yeah, Chango's coming around. Yeah, for those of us that backed it. Yeah, and he's uh working on his other stuff soon too. It's just gonna be awesome. Does the carpet have the mage on what on Skunk Girl? I don't know. You gotta ask that. You gotta ask Manny that. You gotta ask. Are you, are you talking about this character? She's black and white, so I'm assuming yes. All right, now I'm thinking about Bullet's question, and I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does Skunk Girl have a strategic stripe somewhere else? Somewhere asking for Pablo. <laughs> Actually, Pablo would know. Pablo, oh, look at him. Pablo would show us. <laughs> yeah, Pablo would show us for sure. Speaking of which, no, Pablo and would get know, hundreds, right? hundreds of likes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Manny isn't taking my call, Z. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I don't, I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, I don't know that much about the character. I don't, I don't have biblical knowledge of Skunk Girl like that. You know. But I will get back with you. 
I, I will ask and uh, maybe, definitely get back with you. Maybe that'll be in volume two. It's, it's going to be darker, like Manny said. So It's going to be darker. <laughs> I doubt we'll have a not safe for work edition, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, it asked Landis Strip. I will show Landis Strip a heart. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of those questions. I don't know the answer to any of those questions. I don't know. But stay tuned. We'll find out. We'll find out one of these days. I don't know when, but we will find out. We'll get many uh, to answer all those intriguing, burning questions that y'all have about Skunk Girl. Because it seems like um, those are interesting questions. Inquiring minds want to know. Yeah, I have no earthly idea, to be honest with you. I don't know what to tell you guys. But anyway, I digress. You digress. Have you I ever digress. read any of Peter David's I, But I Digress columns from the old Comic Buyer's Guide? Nope. I don't even know what he is. And now I feel like I'm uncultured. <laughs> um, you know, Comic Buyer's Guide uh, was a newspaper that came out every week. And uh, I had a subscription to it for for a few years, and it, I, I looked forward to it every week. Right. Uh, and they would profile uh, comics. That's how I learned about Bone and Strangers in Paradise. And they had some original comic strips in there. They had columns by different creators. Um, you know, then they had uh, price guide list uh, in there and and news from the the big companies and such. But um, on the back, you know, Peter David had a big column called, but I digress. And, uh, it was always entertaining. You know, sometimes it was brilliant and, uh, they collected the best ones in a, a paperback volume, um, mm -hmm. which is how I wound up with two copies of. So maybe I'll send you one. It's cause it's a lot of fun reading. I'm definitely going to check it out, man. At least tell me, or tell me, uh, I just send me the, the information. I'll see if I can buy it. Uh, Tank Ferret says, uh, be sure to smash the like button. <laughs> Jimmy Ops help mill engine is not limited, is not responsible for the damage on your computer. Smash the like button at your own risk. <laughs> oh, hey, I just happen to have a copy nearby. Here it is. All right, cool, cool, cool. Solo layout, but I digress. Yeah, but I digress. Comic Buyer's Guide, Peter David, and it's just big long collection of uh his columns nice and you you can see what john byrne thinks of it <laughs> oh shredded <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my goodness cecil wasn't the first all right where was i which what was i working on dang it let's see Eric Larson had a weekly column for, for a while where he always did that, but I digress. Nice, nice, nice. You sure I'm caught up on the chats? Everything is beautiful. Everything is awesome. Yeah, man. Got three people viewing on DLive and uh, I guess the rest are on YouTube. It's awesome. You know, we're doing the multicasting. Got to do the multicast. Never know what's, never know what's going what's gonna to pop off where. So, hey, it is what it is, homies. So what's going on in everybody's life? Out in chat land, it's just me and Trusty, so... You know, usually we got more banter going on. We have more people, but. It's just uh, the two of us. Tech Fair says, trust me, DM me your rates. All right. Definitely. I think Trusty will. Of course. 
Just wanted you to know, Trusty does amazing work. I like it, so. But of course, I may wind up doing some Scalpel Zero fan art just for fun, too. Especially after seeing how much fun everybody was having on Barn Twitter. Yeah. Which I still hate that I couldn't couldn't be there for that one. E, did we lose you? I'm here. I'm just uh, okay. dealing with something right now, real quick. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All good. <laughs> yeah, man. Just dealing with some some nonsense. Yeah, some dude. Internet tough guy. You know I do. But, yeah. He's going to find himself in a very interesting situation. He doesn't know that I'm very close to where he lives. <clears throat> I'm just trying to fish out a little bit more. And then no from use. But anyway. Yeah, man. Some people are just I don't know about some people, man. Is somebody giving you a hard time? Eh, not really. It's just something that I don't agree with. You know how people like to double down. Yep. <laughs> yeah, my son said his uh, his cousin was, he was getting into it with his cousin on Snapchat because they're on different sides of the uh, abortion issue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, let's don't, just don't talk about that. It's family, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, just don't talk about that. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Let's see. Z collects his in saying, What's up, fam? Let's hey, see. Z. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We're, we're going to get it situated. I think uh, it's just some dude that hates the military and veterans. Oh, gosh. And I, I, can't, I can't let people talk bad about that usually i don't give a damn about what people say but i don't, I don't like people talking bad about bets some bets deserve it oh you said veterans mm -hmm. i don't know why but i heard bedouins <laughs> no okay um that's kind of but all right <laughs> you can talk bad about ones. <laughs> he feels very, very strongly about the Bedouins. Yeah, no, 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 no. Now no. it's not like Elmer Fudd saying, saying Bedouins. Veterans. I can't yeah. say it now. Oh. oh, my Lord. There we go. Everybody's happy now. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Oh. It's very hard to resist going ahead and filling in some of these black areas because I really, you know, I, I, I'm looking forward to how it's going to look when they're all filled in. But I know if I do, that's just more ink that's going to smudge as my hand goes over the page, even if I'm wearing the gloves, which I may put on. 
but uh, it's like okay no just wait hold off don't don't do anything yet yep all right <laughs> Yeah, but don't worry about it, man. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I know C collects. I know. I know. I apologize, man. I'm not trying to get you guys riled up. But let's go talk about something else. How about uh let's see. San Francisco is freaking six and oh. Let's see, turn ninety. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, man, I just I just touch your subject, touch your subject. Just Did you hear good. about that um, Virginia Tech UNC game? Uh, no, I didn't see it. But um, one of the guys I work with today was telling me about it. Six overtimes. Wow, that yeah, broke a record for the ACC. And you know, once you get to a certain point, you're not allowed to kick field goals. You have to go for a touchdown, and then you get to another point and you have to go for a two point conversion if you get a touchdown. And then apparently when you get to six overtimes, you just go for two point conversions. You know, they just put the ball on the three, you know, and you try to score <laughs> and wow. they'll just go back and forth, back and forth until somebody fails. So who won? Virginia tech finally won like a four and a half hour game or something like that. Oh yeah. That happens. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, you see Virginia Tech gets the better of UNC. Virginia Tech is – last season they were not very good. And uh, I don't know how they're doing this season, but I know they got whooped by Duke. Um, and then Duke got whooped by UVA. So uh, the Virginia Tech-UVA game should be interesting this year. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, UNC is a basketball college, man. That – there never been a football, a football um, program. Big try, but uh, no, it doesn't work out for UNC. I, uh, I got to work on their uh, football center back when I, I used to work in Chapel Hill, and uh, we were the architecture firm for the the Keenan Football Center and for the uh, the big guest seating box on one side, the upper deck. They were very nice people to work for. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. Chelsea, yeah. One of the problems I have with inks is waiting for them to dry before I erase the pencil. So I hear you on smudging the inks. Yes. <laughs> All right. I am inking Kuya. Um, he did a female version of my of my OC, the Borinkaneer. So I guess it's La Borinkaneer. And uh, Trusty is working on a commission for Pope Fire, which is – go ahead, Trusty. It is – from the Kingdom Come universe timeline, it's Nightwing and Baby Nightstar. And in, in that continuity, Nightwing and Starfire got married, had a baby girl. And in fact, in Kingdom Come, she's um, one of the heroes in that story. And I wouldn't know because I don't read DC. <laughs> well, you're missing out. I tried. Sometimes. I actually... Uh, I actually I actually bought a book that Profile suggested. I read it and I did not like it. Which one was it? Uh, I don't know. Something Starfire, Teen Titans, uh, George Paris, the new Teen Titans. Yeah, okay. I, guess, I guess that's what it's called. I have to look over to the bookshelf. I'm watching on YouTube. Love you guys. Well, thanks, Aaron, man. We love you too, brother. We appreciate you. Let's see if I can get this young lady some expressions. Maybe not such a deep furrow. She's not a man. She's a girl. Just a little bit of a furrow. A little bit of it. There you go. Yeah. I don't know, man. How do you? 
So, so this is what happened. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all anyway. So what happened is I happened to stumble on this video on YouTube, but this dude is uh, in front of a military installation at an undisclosed location, and he decides he wants to record, you know, the front gate. Mm -mm. And um, of course, he the MPs go out, and he's like, "I got my freedoms. I'm not standing up front," and it, it's fine. I don't disagree or argue with any of that. My problem is he's he's zooming in on people's license plates as they go in and out of the gate. Oh no, yeah. no, 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 no. And I have a problem with that. He thinks that there's nothing wrong with that. I have a, I have a serious issue with that, man. I, I don't think that's cool. You want to record the base, the fence line, whatever, you know, whatever. But um you know, recording people's uh, zooming in, and I mean zooming in, like full screen on people's license plates, I don't agree with that. If it's incidental, it's, it is what it is, but you zooming in, at least gray them out, you know, or blur them out. But but don't post that, don't post that for everybody to see. That man thinks that, uh, that I'm a communist for disagreeing with him. <laughs> and uh, of course he doesn't seem to care about military or anybody because if if you care about your military you, you wouldn't post people's license plates coming in and out of in and out of a gate you know that's uh that's that's not cool anyway yeah. but that's, that's my beef that's my beef with the guy i don't think that's cool so i don't know if i'm right or wrong for thinking that so he was out there saying, I, I got my freedoms and all. Well, yeah, he says his first amendment right. Those freedoms for you, bud. Yeah, his first amendment right trumps everybody else's uh, amendments and rights. Hmm. He seems to be a little bit of a butthole. <laughs> tank says, got to run through the shower. Later, folks. Later, Tank. Later, Tank. And that's that's my fear, Maranya. That is my fear. That is my fear. That's so I'm gonna go over there, you know, and start looking at those plates. And if something happens to one of those families, this dude is not even gonna bat an eye, think twice about it. And you know, I just I just don't agree with that mentality. Mm -mm. You're like, oh. I don't care about nobody else but me and my views or whatever he's doing it for. Anyway, that's my beef. That's my beef. Well, I, I think you've got a beef. Definitely. That's, that's just not cool. That's stupid. That's, that's my beef. That's why I'm upset. But yeah, I mean, it's it's serious around the military bases. We we have a lot of military bases around where I live. And, you know, uh, we ride right by the Air Force Base. And, you know, sometimes you're you know lucky enough, you can watch the jets, you know, landing as you're riding by. And one time my wife, you know, just parked the van uh, across the street. So my boys, they were little so they could watch the planes coming in, you know, and somebody came over and, you know, checked her out, you know, checked her ID, see who she was. Right. You're serious. But I, that's, I think that's what they did, but I think maybe the MP got a little too handsy with them, which, you know, I don't, that's fine, whatever that is. Yeah, that's how it's been. That one person's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't either see collects. I do not either, but, but the guy was sitting in front of the gate, zooming in on people's license plates. I just don't feel comfortable with that. Nope. I don't I don't care if you want to record, but damn, like, and if it's incidental, like I said, you know, incidental, but if someone tells you, hey, brother, maybe you shouldn't be posting people's uh, license plates out. Don't act like it is your God given right just to just do what you do. You know, but what if uh, what if somebody saw that video and saw their car? And I was like, you know what? Wait till this clown sits in front of the gate again. 
you know? Uh-huh. And then what? Then he's wrong? Or she's wrong? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. But, yeah. Just don't feel that that's right, man. It's not. It's not right. And I, that's that's just that's just my opinion. But um, yeah, I don't even know why it bothers me so much, but it did. It just really did. People, you know, just trying to do their job, go about their business. They don't need they don't need that extra headache in their life. They didn't even they, they probably ain't even aware. You know? And now their information might be or might not be out there. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see, but that's how it's been. That one per yeah, we don't know everything. I just trying to make it through life, mind my own business. I know. I know. That's what I should have did. I should have minded my own business too. That's what I should have did. But that dude is a butthole. I'm not going to lie. He will not try to have a civil discourse. It's one of those guys that results to uh, to insults. And, uh, and you know, um, what do you call that when people uh, have to uh, belittle your positions to make themselves feel better? Um, gosh, I can't, I can't think of the specific term for it. But uh, anyway, but that's what he does. It's like, oh, you're ignorant. Oh, you uh, need to move to, uh, to Korea. So what he's saying is his first amendment right trumps people's right to privacy. Does that make sense? I didn't do anything, man. I didn't do anything. Not yet. Not yet. He didn't do nothing. Just don't like what some people do. In that quote unquote um, First Amendment, um, what a minute. JP Ford just donated one ice cream. Thanks, JP. It quacked on my ear. And that's how come I know something happened on D Live. <laughs> uh, what, oh, all he does now is make someone's art all black and hide all the details. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, nah, did, did you see the color version yet? You know, they just, let me see. I'll find a color version. So uh, I don't think Z Collect saw it. Uh, I'm not hiding his details. I'm just doing my own, my own thing to it. That's a Kuya exclusive. And he did the colors and he made it shiny and he did all his things on it. I kind of enjoy how Kuya is uh, kind of self-deprecating in uh, his titles or when he puts out a you know, yeah. notices notification that he's streaming he's like i'm drawing this come watch me fail <laughs> <laughs> well because people uh people actually gravitate towards that you know the words fail and and whatnot they uh they get a lot of views on youtube it's like oh, a algorithm so it's you a know? strategy it is a strategy i've noticed that you know like if you put epic fail you know drawing whatever epic fail people want to see the car the car crash Oh yeah, if I were to put, you know, uh, drawing a commission for Pope Fire, epic fail. I mean, Cult of Raven would be in, you know, on mass, right? Yeah. And even Pope's people would be in. No, you can't fail. <laughs> She'll be trusty failing. No. Uh, my eyesight's failing. You know that that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> JP says, oh, I can be honest in my titles now. <laughs> yeah, 
Liz Moranya said, oh, Moranya says, the people have the, the guts to step up and fight to protect that wackadoo's rights. To be a wackadoo's going to need to be messed with. <laughs> Man, look, I'm done. I'm done. It's whatever. You know, I just, uh, I don't know what the, what the rules are where he was at, but I know if that would have been an Air Force base or something like that, that that would that would be a no fly zone. Air Force got the strictest rules out of all of them. But anyway, yeah, when we would have soccer games against uh, the team from the local Air Force base. Boy, it was a hassle to get on the base for the soccer game. No problem at the Army base, you know, in the other direction. You know, that was just, you, you show up, they, you know, open your doors, they look underneath the car, you know, okay, you're good, and go on in. But the, the Air Force base, man, you had to get on a pre-approved list ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, you do. Air Force don't play. Air Force don't play. Uh, C Collect says, I like your fail on this E. LOL, Joe. Thanks. Thanks, C Collect. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, JP4 says, Going to bed. Have a good one. See you, JP. Hi, Night, JP. JP. Everybody loves JP4. And that is that. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just need to mind my own business. Well, we definitely love the military here in our area. But the comment, that's the thing. That was the other thing. The comments on there were like all for that guy and everything disparaging against the military. I was like, wow. Like it's a military town. Half your economy is based on the military being there. Oh, yeah. If they, if they leave, your economy dries up. Yeah, base closings are, are, you know, nothing to, to sneer at. You know, and, and uh, it, your housing market dries up. <laughs> oh, yeah. We you know, always have so many people, you know, who buy and, and then, you know, they get transferred somewhere else. You know, yeah, those houses are always turning over. Yeah. It's, we've got one empty on the end of our lane, you know, that... Uh, there's a couple, both of them in the military. They actually were um, stationed somewhere else and were renting it out. Finally decided, no, they've had enough of that. They're they're not going to be able to come back to this area, which is what they had wanted to originally. And right. so now they're trying to sell it. Yeah. And that's, that's bad. I mean, you know, the whole thing is a lot of people like buy the house and then rent it out, right? But then if you get bad tenants and they destroy your property. Mm-hmm. The amount of money that it that it'll take to repair and fix, even with um, with uh, renters insurance, and, you know, with insurance and all that stuff, you know, um, it, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, this is actually on on YouTube though, but yeah, but I I get you, I get what you're saying, Bullet. I get what you're saying. Oh, you know, I need to make a note. But um, I'm just, just you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I should just leave it alone. But. I feel some kind of way about the way they go about it and what they're doing. And I just don't know. I don't know. For some reason, it just struck me. And uh, I try to be cordial with the dude and tell him, hey, you know, just blur out the plates, dude. Keep your video up, you know, but could you uh, blur out the plates? I guess that's too much to ask for. It is too much to ask. How dare you? How dare you? It's good thought pressing the house. There's a good thought pressing the chats. Many. There's a good thought pressing the chat saying hello to Maranya. And Maranya says, Many. All caps. She's I had an inspiration excited. today for what my next skunk girl piece is going to be. That's going to be awesome then. I'm going to, that's all I'm going to tease out right now. Man, that's it. That should be pretty awesome. Should be very, very awesome. I wish Kuya was watching, man, because this is a piece that I'm uh, 
that I'm that I'm thinking over, man. He's probably like rolling over in his bed, like, oh my god, he's messing my beautiful masterpiece up. <laughs> is it still on me? I'm sorry. Let me put it back on both of us. Just didn't realize it was still on me. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Merry Hawaii. <laughs> there goes it. There goes a good dog press with a full on uh, Sandy Claus beard. How you doing, Manny? <laughs> Seems like we need just for Manny to make another appearance. <laughs> There is no just from many. And has the skunk girl prohibited the just from many? See, collects with the Santa Claus. <laughs> I got no. We want skunk girl for Christmas. Oh, Lord. Skunk girl for Christmas, just waiting for the books from the printer. Can you guys oh. hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. So the okay. books is in the printer? Yeah, Booker's has been at the printer for last week. It was approved. Hopefully it's been printed. Nice. The cards are at the printers also, a different printer. Nice. I'm on my phone. So if I feel, if I sound kind of choppy, it is what it is. It's a little soft. Yeah. It is, yeah, but it's, it's still good dog press, so you can't get mad at, at a good dog press appearance. <laughs> you know, like even if it is on the phone, it's good dog press. Hopefully, everybody in the chat is uh, tweeting this out, sharing it out, get more people over to see DRTs and trusty side. Yeah, mostly trusty, man. Uh, Ryan says, Whoa, it's Christmas <laughs> in October. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you inking? This is Kuya. From yeah. uh, this is my character. Hello. But in female version, he only draws women. So so he saw Trusty's but in Kinnear on one of my streams. And uh he did a fan art. I'll show it again. He did a fan art. Let me find it. And uh He's really, he's really pretty cool at coloring and whatnot. Let me put it back up one more time. I'm giving Kuya a mad love today. He's not even here to watch it. And uh, he did that piece uh, as a female Borinkaneer, but he did it in color. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, he says, I only do females. Can I do your, uh, can I do your character as a female? I said, sure, why not? Oh, Sasha Sean, thank you so much for the ice cream. Or um, Sasha Jen, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for the ice cream. Thank you for joining the stream. But anyway, yeah, so I, I asked him to send me the pencils so I could, you know, slaughter his drawing. Because that's what I do. <laughs> I make everything, as C-Collect says, I make everything black and hide all the details. <laughs> And uh, IRL says, I'm awesome too. Let's see, trusty. Uh, Christmas is October. Sasha Jen donated ice cream. Thank you for that. Uh, Pablo Romero says, it's good. I prefer the black and white. And uh, trusty Sasuke says, Pablo. Pablo is in the house. Pablo. So Pablo Romero in la casa. Yeah, man. So what's been going on with you, Manny? I mean, well, apart from all the skunk girl news that you just gave us. Uh, making a lot of tail. <laughs> <laughs> For your bus? Yeah, the bus stuff. Oh, man. Well, it says that's the first time I've seen Manny. Sure. So those are separate and you, you put those on later? Yeah, so it, what I can show it. I just gotta go put on. Whoa! I just dropped a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> Gray Manny down. Gray Manny down. Well, Manny is down. 
I don't want to show anything yet because I don't have a shirt on. Who you oh think my I have? lord! I did you, did, you did that on Rick Stream. Yeah, for about a split second. When he was showing his his man bobs to everybody. Oh, beautiful man bobs. And uh, I think uh, Skunky was upset because she didn't want that sexiness revealed just yet. Who? Zaya, uh, your wife. She was like, no, Manny, don't show everybody the sexiness. That's my sexiness. Too sexy. Too sexy, too sexy. <laughs> Miranda Volcano says, Pablo, I asked a question about Skunk Girl for you from E regarding her stripe in a certain area. <laughs> Maybe Manny will answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had this a very important discussion earlier. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think it was wasn't it was Bullet who initiated the discussion, wasn't it? It was Bullet who initiated. He had a lot of questions about Skunk Girl's natural blonde hair. Oh Lord. And uh, you know, carpets and drapes and I don't know what else. It was it was a weird discussion about house. House decorations. As you can see, the tails are pretty big. Watching HGTV, you know. Oh, hold on. Let me let me uh let me give Manny. Oh, check it out. Some love. You're like a trapper. Well, I got two points for it to go insert into the the body, so I still gotta clean off all the flashing. And I still got to paint them all. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo says the quest for fur. That is As cool. See, pretty damn big. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, that's at least eight inches tall. So oh, wow. getting, and this, is, yeah, this is this is not, you can tell how thick it is. It's not no thin little skunk tail. Yeah. Yeah, I have about half a dozen busts uh, here, and none of them are that tall. And here's the <laughs> Fire says, what is it? It's uh, it's skunk tails for the bust that Manny's making as part of his tier for the unbreathable car. Manny with his car. Yeah. So, there's the there's the skunk girl, which you call that mold. Mm -hmm. I got that off tonight. I thought I thought uh oh fire went to sleep. She heard Manny's voice and she woke up. I know, right? After for Christmas. Just like Manny's here. And she's saying, Oh. All right. You can get off of me now. <laughs> <laughs> the breathable skunk girl says, uh, thanks for using one of my bathroom towels, good dog. <laughs> I'm right. It's my freezer. Oh. So I put it in the freezer. Mm -mm -mm. Who said bathroom towel? My wife? Your wife. Your wife. Come on. These, these things are clean. It's red. Oh, some of them are heavy. Damn. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg to ship these out. Oh, Literally. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, people are people are expecting that now, though. So, so. you know, Bofire is asking you a question about something. Hemarania says, Uh oh, Manny, you're in the good dog house now for using the good towels. There you have it, people. We got Good Dog uh, getting in trouble on air, which is nothing new. Nothing new. There's a time where Manny didn't answer his phone, and there was a, an all caps. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Oprah says, summed up to the stream. 
Oh, pull fire. That little person. We treat her so well. That we do. That we do. She doesn't seem to be happy with that. I don't know what to do with people like that. We don't know. She said, I summed up the whole stream. I think she went to sleep and just came back. Mm -hmm. She woke up, had to go to the bathroom, decided to check in on us. Yeah. Make sure I'm still working on a commission. Haven't switched over to something else. Everything was going so well, too. And then she, then she came back. Like a nightmare. Just went <laughs> away. A bad nightmare. <laughs> well, skunk girl's telling tales on Manny now. What happened now? And skunk girl says he hasn't answered his phone for over 13 years. Yeah, the only time he would answer was when we were dating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, boy. Uh, for some reason, Pope says she had a nightmare. Oh. Were you? Was it that Trusty didn't finish your commission? It was probably that I was convicted to the cult of Raven. Well, you know, that might not be a bad thing. I don't know. Do they have snacks? They have snacks. Oh. <laughs> Are they good snacks? They are good snacks. Nakuya streaming live. And of course it is because you know it's daylight somewhere, so Kuya streaming. <laughs> yeah, he streams a lot. He does stream a lot. Kuya streaming art and Cutthroat No Jutsu or Juju. She's streaming too. Uh, I like her. I like yeah. her work. She's good people. She's really she's always very happy to see everybody who shows up in her chat. Oh yeah, definitely. So she makes the chat feel good. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Unlike unlike us here, man, we don't make anybody feel good. I I I, I beg to differ. Beg to differ. No, nah, I'm just kidding. We do our best to make everybody feel welcome and loved. Except for maybe people from the Pope Fire realm. Let's see what we got going on. I actually did a dream of Trusty joining a group and then not doing commissions for me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Fire says. I had a nightmare because all the rice people treat Spot Fire. Nope. Uh, you took Cuddy is great. But that was a while ago. Oh, okay. We're moving. We're moving right along. We're moving right along. Chat is caught up. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Can't complain, man. Can't complain. We got trusty in the house, like I said. We got a good thought press in the house. Got all kinds of good people. Doing good things. Yeah, we were talking about recipes earlier and diet plans. We, oh my gosh, the digital bullpen has become a lifestyle brand. 
Uh, oh, right of the universe just followed. Thanks for joining us, right of the universe. I know that that uh, Juju is streaming, so uh, I great, I greatly appreciate you taking time out to come over here and joining us for a quick second. And I know that you'll be gone, but thanks for the follow. Uh, and everybody about zombies and motorcycles. She hates zombies, but she loves motorcycles, so she was conflicted. Trusty is booked for commissions through twenty twenty. It seems that way. <laughs> I was gonna say it I, keeps increasing. <laughs> and I'm not mad at that, man. Trusty, trusty, all the love the trusty gets from the peoples, I'm I'm good with. I um, wish I was booked for commissions. After I finish this one, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I don't know. We're gonna figure that out though. We need to figure that out quickly. Oh, well, no, wait, I need to draw something for tank. Oh yeah, Tank you say that he wanted to get your commission rates. Uh-oh. Scooja said Kuja is live. I can't sleep, so I draw again. And he misspelled again. <laughs> uh no, I hate zombies. She hates zombies. We we uh, uh, well, the, you won't like what I'm gonna be doing for Macho Dan then. I think it's a zombie story. Oh, you're gonna oh that's nice. You're gonna be doing um, you're gonna be doing his book. Uh, like, uh, he, he actually he, he asked me a while back if I would be interested in doing just a little. Uh, he said it was a two pager. He was gonna do a little two page story. He had won some prize money, and mm -hmm. the, the prize money was supposed to go towards doing the two pager. I was like, yeah, send me a script. You know, this was a long time ago, <laughs> so I I hit him up. Um, the private message the other day and i said so how long does it take to write two pages you know smiley face emoji and uh, he came back he's sorry he's going to put in a self-imposed deadline you know and uh, and get it done but when he said two pages he meant two sheets of paper so front and back four pages oh yeah so he doesn't know how to count well you know he I is to say that confused me at first well you know yeah that virginia education is uh i don't know i don't want to tell you about that one Good Dog says, let me in. You dropped out, man. I don't, it ain't my fault you left. There you go. You're back in. Oh, that was a uh, nice stupid phone. I know where he's about it. Uh, C Collect says, okay, back. Just had to stop by Juju. No, Juju is amazing. And I don't mind. I don't, I do not blame you for going over there and saying hi. Like, we got a poopy in the house. Hey, poopy. Oh, little SG. Just thank you so much, little SG, for coming by and checking us out. Um, there's another person from, from, uh, from Juju stream. So that's awesome, man. At least, at least they're giving us a little bit of a more. Okay. So now I get to see what trustee is doing. Poor trustee. <laughs> Anytime, man. Anytime that we can show love to Juju, we will, you know, poor, poor trustee. What's up with trustee? Oh, he's under somebody's thumb again. Yeah, he's he's under the he's under the thumb of the Popey. Yep. But I'm really happy with the way it's turning out, so it's cool. <laughs> oh, she finally talks to me. She she's been <laughs> talking to you this whole chat. She's been asking you questions. Dude, I have I've been like I said, I was on my phone and I was doing the mold downstairs. It was like, damn, nobody can hear me. Nobody can see me. I, I got to go on the, the computer. Ugh. Welcome to the computer room. This is Manny from Good Talk Press. <laughs> Welcome to my computer room on a beautiful Monday afternoon. Oh, man. You guys going to be free on Saturday? <laughs> if it would have been this Saturday? I would the one that just passed. I would say yeah, yeah. But this one coming up, I do, dude. To be honest with you, sir. But I if I am, if I am, I will let you know. What time uh, are you talking about? Uh, maybe 10 p.m. Eastern. Oh, I should be good by then. Oh yeah. 10 p.m. Eastern. I'm, I, uh, you guys can stay and go as you please. It's gonna be a long, long one. I got something cooked up for it. Good dog press is gonna come back on Saturday night. Mum's oh, the word. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do yet. Good dog press coming back on a Saturday night. Good dog press coming back on a Saturday night. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. 
It's all right, all right, all right. Not the Aloha Dingo Hour yet. But what? Some, not yet. Got to remember, I got to fulfill the book first. Prelude to the <laughs> Aloha Dingo Hour. No, no, no. Uh, it's, it's no prelude to the Aloha Dingo Hour. <laughs> it's pretty much going to be dog stars. That's all it is. Digital bullpen. It's going to be drawing. Yeah, so, if I can, I'll definitely be in. Uh, C Collect says stream on Saturdays. Yep. Sometimes you know, those happen. Funny. Hardly anybody streams on Saturday. That's a great time to stream. I know. I tried a couple of Saturdays ago and didn't really go out. Didn't work out too well for me. But well, um, but yeah, you're right though. Nobody does. And uh, uh, there was no my lord earlier. Now all we need is Manny's double with an elf hat to match his Santa beard. <laughs> <laughs> she does have a reindeer costume. Hopefully, we can find the reindeer costume. Put that on her, like the Grinch. Did for his dog? Yep, like the Grinch. And it, it had jingle bells on it and everything, so you could tell where the dog was in the house. Oh, just my goodness. Just, ding, 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 ding. Cute. I don't even know where she's at, why she's not jumping on me right now. Because you used your wife's good towels, and she knows better to be around. <laughs> Dude, all I did was put the damn towel on the freezer so you guys wouldn't see the top of the freezer, and then showed you guys some tail. That's all. You know, so the dog even knows better than to be around. When oh, she, she, she knows. Well, what just happened? What that happened? No, with my drawing, I just automat. I I went to to minimize and it zoomed out. Oh, no. way out, way out, way out, way out. Come on, come up here. Oh, he says, yeah. Uh, C Collect says I'll be at a Halloween party, but I'll sure just drop by. Uh, trusty, uh oh, and then he's gone again. Device is not connected. Um, trusty profile wants you to say something, what? What? something. I don't know. You're busy drawing, and she keeps interfering with your progress. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. Say something, Mara Lee or Mariah Carey or something. What? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, say Mari, trusty, trusty, trusty. Say Mari. Like Corey, it's Mari, the baby's name. And, uh-oh, <laughs> dog cam time. Dog cam. <laughs> you know what happened was I didn't have my my camera hooked up to my computer. So hey. when I went to go click on the, the camera, it kicked me out. Ah, no nice. device found. Yeah, uh, it does that to you sometimes. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell Manny, but he's gone. <laughs> There's a See, little dog who talk about her and she appears. Yep. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. She wants to give hugs. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> hugs and kisses. Oh, yeah. Oh, up the nose. <laughs> <laughs> There's Santa Claus beer with a little dog. This week on Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Thanks, Manny. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, thank you for putting dog hair all over my shirt that I went to work with. <laughs> she, all right. sleep, she likes no to sleep on my clothes. Nobody Thanks. noticed. Thanks a lot, doggy. Nobody noticed, Manny. Nobody noticed. Uh, it is getting to be a good beard. Yeah. How long before you, you're told you have to shave it off? I don't know how long I'm going to let it go. Mines don't go long. After the I, holiday shopping season. I get the kill order pretty quick in my beard growth. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, you, you're growing a beard. Uh, it's time to shave it. Really, like, dog? You like to show everybody your butt? <laughs> Bye, dog. Bad my, dog. Wife, my wife went downstairs, so she ran to the door. Come on. Yeah, it's gonna keep. Ah, typical. <laughs> Those things happen, Manny. Yeah. Now you can get back to trusty and you. You can put me back to a small little box. And whoops, not there. There, mm -hmm. so everybody gets a little bit of love. Manny's old, says Pope Fire. 
Oh. Her jokes are older than me. <laughs> Her jokes oh. are pretty tired. <laughs> Her jokes are about as tired as she is all the time. I, I need to be able to sleep. Oh, I got to go to sleep. I can't handle an hour long uh, live stream. It's too long for me. I'm so tired. But she does make some little creative videos. And I like them because she's always taking digs at DC, which is awesome because I don't like DC. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So she's oh. slowly becoming my favorite anti-DC channel. You know you're getting old, Pope, when you haven't even memed me in, what, three weeks now? Man, you're old and tired. You can't come with a meme at me? <laughs> well, she's mean. been sick. I know. Hey, hey, oh, you sh know, sh we got to give her some, you know? She likes to you know, dish but, it out. We gotta give some back to her. Come but on. she's always but mental mental illness does does not really count as as a reason for her not to uh, do memes, you know. She's oh. always yeah. it is, it is what it is with that girl. Now nah, let me quit, man. She she gets she'll be like, No, don't talk bad about me. She's don't she's a quit. sensitive young woman. Come on. Hope fire's gonna come and beat us up. I can talk bad about anybody, but they can't talk bad about me. Oh, she doesn't have the link to be in here and bugging us? Nope. Not unless she's in the five stars. No, she's in the wraparound cover though. Nope, I didn't put it there. Well, you gotta you gotta be wary about that though. You put it in there, there's all kinds of interesting people in that that might show up. <laughs> yeah, no. I just put it on the dog stars. I don't I don't put it on the wraparound cover. Yeah. I mean, depends. If if I want to have a crazy night, I'll put it in the wraparound cover. If I just want the dog stars, which I know all the dog stars are pretty chill. Yep. I hope comics is in the house saying hey, it is what it is and what it is and what it is and what it is. I hope comics. Uh if you know anything from hey, artists, right. just to be in my corner. Oh, oh, that's bribery. You don't want to do that. Have them in your corner because you want them to be in your corner. Yeah, but the thing I'm, is, I'm still in her corner. And when money I, runs out, I'm still in her corner. I've, I've never, I only had one commission from her. Yeah, she's a good people, what she wants to be. I did, a, I did the Pope Raven birthday stream. I did that Pope Raven and, and Starfire. Raven and Starfire holding hands. It was cute. Mm -hmm. It was cute. I mean, yeah, had a, had a, it was a Friday night and then it was a good stream and yeah, it was cute. We got a tank in the house. Trusty won't say anything bad about Pope. <laughs> no, <laughs> he won't. We're but trying to bait him. We're trying to bait him to say something, but Trusty won't say bad. And Trusty won't say anything bad about nobody, though. Mm. I don't think so, anyway. I I don't think I've burned any bridges yet. Well, uh, bridges are always burnt all over the place. YouTube is filled with burnt bridges. No <laughs> crow, no joke. <laughs> My goodness. And the funny part is some of these bridges are burnt and we didn't even light it. I know. <laughs> Things are lit for us. It's like, really, people? Hmm. Those, those things be happening. Those things be happening. I know. It's crazy. It's a crazy, crazy place, people. I mean, we try to keep it on the down low. We try to not go there. But even if we try not to do it, it still gets to us. It's weird. Mm. It's weird. Do, 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 do. Restream bot. Be live. Yeah. Ooh. Tank Ferret is being kind of awesome the way that he, he made Maranya's name. Very creative there, Tank. There's Maranya with some music and a guitar. 
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Very creative. Yeah. But really, Larry, are you really that cute? Hmm. Who's in agreement that Larry is cute? I have no earthly idea. I've never seen the guy. Oh yeah, I've seen the guy. He's not cute. <laughs> <laughs> He has a quality. What's up? What was that thing dancing on your stream? What? Your screen there. On my screen? That? Yeah, there was some something like dancing. I don't know. Kind of crazy looking. Has Pablo been out there for a while? Yeah, yeah he's been up there. Pablo. Uh, on my screen, oh, because I got the um, overlay for the chat, so I forget to turn it off because sometimes I'll stream by myself and I just have the overlay so I can just read the chat without having to deal with anything else. Yeah, the, you have the chat there, then sometimes it's just uh, something with dancing to your chat. Kind of yeah, that was uh, Z Collects. He sent me a sticker. <laughs> it's kind of provocative dancing, too. Yeah. <laughs> so like, cool. Kuya, just sent, Kuya just sent a sticker because I went to his stream and said, uh, Kuya, I'm messing up your uh, your pencils with my inks. <laughs> and I uh, just wanted to say hi to Kuya, man. He's a good people's man. He's really good people's man. I'm glad, glad you dropped by for a quick second. So, so what is this character's name? This one that I'm doing? Yeah. I don't know. It's just uh, Kuya says he only draws female characters and he wanted to do a fan art of the Burning Kinnear. So oh. I guess it's the Burning Kinnear female version. Uh, waifu? Oh. Interesting. It's like an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks, Kuya, for the ice cream. Appreciate it, brother. You didn't have to. <laughs> Kuya's happy. He's sending all the little stickers and gifts and animes and whatnot, man. I wanted just wanted you to see your buddy. I know you're streaming, so thanks for dropping by, man. I, cool. you know, send, send that girl dancing again. We want to see it again. You want to see the girl? <laughs> it wasn't a girl, but I mean, we got we got a. Oh, whatever it was, it was pretty cute. It was like pretty cool. It's like, what's that dancing on the street? On the street? Let me. Let me. Let me uh, so we got that one. We got uh, this one. Oh, it wasn't that one. It wasn't we that got, one. We got the Christopher Walken Owl. Oh, Trusty Psychic got a, co a couple of more ones that I haven't seen. Oh, that's pretty cute. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> owl. <laughs> we got this oh, one. Oh, Chris Farley. <laughs> yeah, we got. I was on top of the Kirby. It cracks people up. <laughs> Strasky's like he's been picking up quite a few. <laughs> Kirby. D Live is fun. D Live wow. is fun, man. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I, and of course, my, my favorite one is always the Keanu Reeves, you're breathtaking. Like, oh. I, like, I like to drop that one on people's streams, just, you know, just out of kindness. Now, Kuya has said that he will make us a sticker, uh, and I got permission from Flit, so I'm going to send him the little skunk girl going, back, 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 back. He'll make us a sticker of that. Yeah, cool. which is going to be pretty cool. Kuya's really good about all this D-Life stuff, man. He he is amazing, man. I, I just like watching his streams, and uh, I, I borrowed this from, from uh, Cutthroat No Jutsu, who does the uh, – who does the – man, you know what? Let me stop trying to figure out, tell y'all what she does and show you what she does. She does some amazing artwork. Uh, let me see, can I full screen this? And this girl is amazing. So I take a quick moment <laughs> to, to show you what she's doing. She is really, really good. Cool. Yeah, man, if uh, she doesn't pay attention to her social media at all, but she streams every night, and she does some beautiful work. All on one layer. She doesn't use layers. 
She just bull draws. She went blank page on me. Don't do blank page. Oh, there she goes. Trusty sidekick with his Deadpool. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Deadpool one is really, really, really nice. So, yeah, she does some good stuff, man. Then, uh, escape. Yeah, I was bored one night. Nobody was streaming. So, I just went on D Live and I just went to different streams looking for stickers. <laughs> cool. And then, Kuya. Kuya does what? Kuya does this kind of work right here. Pablo. That's pretty Pablo, good stuff. Pablo being naughty. <laughs> Pablo's being naughty. No, don't be naughty, Pablo. <laughs> Oh, no, well, she likes to show people her, like, uh, her hand moving. Usually it's not that low, though. So it's a little bit higher. Um, <laughs> but, you know, she's good people's man. Usually she has it from the, from the side view. But all you can see is her hand, but she has a camera inverted because I thought she was left-handed for the longest time. But yeah, that's that's them, man. Those are good guys, man. They they do good work, you know. So, especially uh, um, Cutthroat No Jutsu, man. She really does good work. I mean, she is amazing. I really like her. Her streams are really chill, and she actually uh, she actually won the, one day um, if we can ever coordinate it. Wants to. Um, stream with us she cool. says she says she would not she would like to do like a digital bullpen type style where she's talking to other artists while she draws and whatnot i don't know if, if we're if, i don't know if that's ever gonna happen of course but because she streams when we stream <laughs> so as as uh you know you know that's what we do <laughs> Uh oh, something just happened on my stream. See, see, stop it, brother. Stop it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> see, collects donating the lemons. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. And five lemons. Thanks. Thank you, bud. Thank you, bud. <laughs> so, what does a lemon do? Well, a lemon is like a scent. I don't know. Um, to be honest, it's actually, huh? You gave me five cents. That's awesome. Yeah. So you don't have to be. That's the thing about D-Lag. You don't have to be monetized. They just donate. You know, like, like this stream is made thirty-one point five three linos. I guess that's like thirty-five cents. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you know you could open the chest at the end. I don't worry about a C collect. It's all good, brother. Man, we do what we do. <laughs> saying Pablo is naughty is like saying water is wet. <laughs> Just saying. Even that sounded dirty. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to Pablo, believe it. Every word is true. Metal arts. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm looking at my email and I it seems that the cards are being shipped out. Very nice. Set has been shipped out. UPS. Nice. That is off news, buddy. Well, the, the is comics awesome. is not going to get here as fast as the cards, that's for sure. Uh, Z Collect says, I believe it's almost two cents per lino. Right, something like that. You know, it's, it's not a lot, but if you wait for YouTube to monetize you, <laughs> you know, at least, at least in D Live, even if you get a couple of cents, man, it's better than nothing. And over on D Live, you can you can play music. Yeah, that's true. I was listening to Cutthroat the other day, and 
she was playing something. I said, man, that's familiar. I know what that, that's, that, that's, that's, that's from a studio Ghibli. And uh, yeah, she was like, yes, that was spirited away. Yeah, they could play music, no problem. Uh, Pablo says, laughing out loud, and I'll be back to drawing Naughty Love when I finish Cyborg USA. Only four pages left. All right. Coming soon to an Indiegogo campaign near you. Cool. You can find it on Twitter. You can find it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Indiegogo, all those places. At my house. <laughs> at my house, at the Pablo <laughs> Romero house. Mm. And, he says, and yet here we are with no music. I know, but we are here with no music because I'm also on YouTube at the same time. Because uh, most of my people watch me. Most most of the people that watch watch on YouTube, and I don't want to alienate. Um, I don't want to alienate the people that have been supporting me this whole time by just going, you know, cutting the cutting cold turkey and just going straight to D Live. You know, uh, I don't want to do that to people, man. I, I've had I had a lot of I have great supporters on YouTube that are here every stream. Now, see, collections becoming a, a regular, but Moranya, Eric Alanian, you know, um, all those people. Let me see who else has been was here today. Trusty, of course, is part of the stream, and you know, the Unbreathable Skunk Girl, Paolo Romero, um, Lady Celtic Moon usually shows up, but she's been having a uh, her brother's been having issues, health issues. So she's yeah. been, you know, we were our prayers are with her always, you know, making sure she's good to go. She'll be back. You know, she'll be back soon. So hopefully all that works out, you know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he says, that's okay. I'm blasting tech nine. <laughs> well, he collects. That's, that's, that's good. That's good, brother. I'm glad I'm glad uh you're doing things. What is your musical taste? Man, I'm eclectic as heck. <laughs> I am eclectic. I don't play that techno music that uh that Pablo yeah. likes though. That's techno music music. Oh, what is what is it you call it, Pablo? 80s synth? Ooh. I double number one says Kuya. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Like, we like we like all those people. We like Kuya. We like Juju. There's a girl named oh, there's a girl that you would really like. Um Manny, she does uh paint digital painting. Mm -hmm. Uh Catalina Uma. Cool. She's from Bulgaria, cool. I think. She does it like you like it. Well, my, my drawing pad is a monitor right now. Yeah, you told me that it's busted. It's still busted. Well, I'm, I'm not even going to try to fix it until I fulfill the book. Because I don't want to do something really stupid and I can't, you know, download what I need to download. So until after I get the book out, you know, be, be able to go use it, whatever the way it's being used right now. And then I'll go try to troubleshoot what the hell's going on. Yeah. See, yeah. Kuya saying, yep, Kat Senpai does beautiful work. She does, man. She, she, uh, she does some good stuff, honestly, man. And she she's an art teacher, I believe, in her country. And she is like, her, her speech and the way she talks and explains things, you can tell she's like a teacher teacher. Like, she's got all this patience in the world, you know. It's pretty cool, man. To see her draw, like, and uh, and and paint. This is pretty cool, man. Like Kuya, when Kuya does painting, does his digital paintings. To watch all that stuff, man, it's pretty amazing, dude. You know. But uh, and and for those of you who don't know Manny, which is good thought, Skunk Girl, uh, at the bottom, Skunk Girl is at the paint as the printer. He does. He's got a. He does realistic uh, portraits, painting. Yeah, I don't know. He explains it better than I do. Well, I, I can do whatever I want. I, it, the whole thing with realistic portraits and realistic painting is boring as hell. It's it's just boring to me. But that's why I mean, my some of my 
my artwork, then that amusing that great, you know, when I just try to fake it. Mm -hmm. But I, I have more fun doing that than doing a realistic portrait. It's like so boring. But that's what everybody wants, though. It's like, oh, it's you're such a great artist. I'm like, I can teach you how to do this in an hour. Come on. It's technique. <laughs> There's no skill to doing realistic, I mean, photorealism. It's, it's just technique. I should show you guys some stuff that I did when I was 18 years old. <laughs> like, you think it's a photo, and it, all it is is just technique. It's like, come on, it's, it's boring. Uh, yeah, you know, it was boring to you, but the people that can't do it. Well, if you if you want to make money, that's where the money is. The boring stuff, the the non, a non imaginative, non, uh, you know, not going out on a limb. You know, stuff people want to put up in their house because it looks like a photo. I was like, well, then why didn't you just get a photo? But that's what sells, unfortunately. I used to get that stuff on eBay back in the late 90s. I used to do portraits and uh, acrylic paintings of certain actresses and sold every single one of them. And I would start them off like 25 bucks. There you go, 25 bucks, go for it. And all of them went over 100 bucks easily. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind if, if many shows you, but uh, just be warned, is NSFW? That if anyone wants to pull the... the I, can't, uh, I can't show you... I can show some of the stuff, but I, I, I got to be really careful when I open up that portfolio because there is a lot of nudes. You know, Oh my God, I'm an artist. I actually paint nudes. Uh-oh, what is wrong with me? I mean, nobody. I don't think anybody's mad about that. <laughs> oh, no. When we had our senior um, art show, I actually it was stuff that was up at graduation uh, when I graduated from college. Um, you know, my parents were there and they were walking around looking at everything. And my, my mom sees this one, you know, big um, nude. And she's, oh my gosh, you know, who would hang something like that up in the show? And my dad said, your son. <laughs> oh, <that was> obvious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy, Lord, Lord. Uh, you know that's happened. Is the is the person you least expect? Okay. Hmm. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, don't worry about it, C Collects. Paolo says, show the news. No, nah, Paolo, don't get me copy, don't get me banned on YouTube, man. <laughs> show you the news, but I can show you this. It's, all right, let me uh let me I maximize. Box, me. Just just leave it the way it was. Oh, uh, you want me to leave the way it was? All right, yeah. yeah leave the way it was. It's good enough. All right, Z. Now you're watching you're watching many delicious showing his many delicious stuff. His many deliciousness. These are like watercolors, pretty much. Well, it's acrylics, but really watered down. See, I gotta watch out. I don't want to open up to the wrong pages. Oh, can't show that. <laughs> that that's nice stuff, though. Pablo would want to see that. I can show. <laughs> you can you can show us after we uh, go off the air. Yeah. Oh, I can show that page. I can't show the other page. Well, I can show that. <laughs> You're not going to get banned. It's art. <laughs> I really like the way that jeans came out. Yeah, that looks good. Pablo says, open the wrong page. Open the wrong page. No, Pablo, I will not do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, sh I'll show you that part. I can't go any higher. <laughs> oh, it's side boob. There's no nipple showing, but still it. He just disappointed Pablo. I disappointed Pablo. I think this was airbrush. This one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one was airbrush and this one was airbrush. I was I was trying to figure out if I could do airbrush. This was this is quite a while back. Oh, can't show that page. Definitely not that page. <laughs> I'll show you guys afterward. 
<laughs> Pablo can jump in here and want to look at it after. Yeah, I've already seen it, so ha ha. This is actually back in 2003. Well, that's cool. Wow. 16 years ago. My goodness. How time has flown. Time flies like crazy. Hmm. These are all original, what you call that, the uh, acrylics on paper. That's all it is, is paper. Profile says she's reporting the stream. Oh, what? <laughs> Just to mess with me. I ain't showing any nudity. She's just doing it to mess with me. I ain't showing no nudity. If you report me, I will stop drawing right now. Oh. 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 That's pretty cool. I mean, the leather is actually pretty easy to do leather. Believe it or not. Uh, Paulo says, is that Terra Patrick? <laughs> oh, yeah. There was Terra Patrick. Yes, there was Terra Patrick, but this is Aria Giovanni. <laughs> Let's see. And Mariah says, wow, Manny, that is, that is amazing. Doing watercolors is incredibly difficult. Yeah, I gotta do that because I don't want to show some of the boobies. <laughs> yeah. Paulo, the uh, uh, fire says she don't want you to draw for her anymore. <laughs> oh no! What? That's what she said. I need your glasses. Come on, I need a couple more commissions at least. <laughs> okay. Hmm. This one came out pretty cool. I like this one. A little vampire. Oh, yeah, I, I remember that one. Yeah, I do too from your webpage. Yeah, little vampirella. <laughs> that, that was fun doing that marble. That, yeah. that granite marble thing. That was fun yeah. doing. Pablo says, I know my porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> And I must say, this was pre Skunk Girl. This was before I met my wife. <laughs> oh, Mariah says, Trusty will change the baby to a raven baby. He's talking oh. about Pope Fire. Pope Fire keeps messing around. Ooh, you know, Photoshop is a fun thing. <laughs> I never did finish up this one. I wish I had finished this one. The Scarlet Witch. The background is airbrush. And then I started to do acrylics, and I never did finish this. I need to finish this one day. You do, man. Yeah. But yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> For all you skunk girl lovers, the butt shot. The butt shot. <laughs> the butt shot. <laughs> yeah, I really did like the way these jeans came out. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Hey, even that the tag. It's just a lot of pencil drawing, real, real tight pencils and washes of acrylic. Many, many, many washes. Super tight pencils. <laughs> Pablo says, but shot. Holy oh, smokes, it's already nine o'clock. Wow, time flies. <laughs> Wasn't saying anything, people. I was trying to let it go as long as possible. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry, but I got it. We don't have KG or Marcus tonight. I know. Yeah, I know. We were just getting too much into the butt shots. That's all it was. Anyway, <laughs> trusty. <laughs> Tell the people where they can find you, sir. <laughs> well, you can find me looking at Manny's portfolio now. <laughs> 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 oh, you can find me at Trusty Sidekick 3 on Twitter, Trusty Sidekick Art on Instagram, uh, and always here with the digital bullpen. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Manny Correa, aka Good Dog Press. You can find me on Good Dog Press this Saturday night. I'm coming back, people. We're going to do a marathon. It, it's going to be interesting. You guys are going to like it. I'm either going to crash and fail 
or I'm going to attempt something that is stupid that I'm going to do, okay? All right. Sounds, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see. It's, it's going to be a marathon. It's going to be at least three to four hours. So wow. people can come and go. So it's going to take me a while to complete this task. So that that is this Saturday night starting at 10 p.m. Eastern. And you can find me on on Twitter, <laughs> Good Dog Press, and Instagram, The Unbreedable Skunk Girl. And thank you for having me on, e. No problem, man. Anytime. And of course, my name is E.R.T.S. I am your humble host. I thank you all for coming by and joining us. I hope everybody has a blessed evening. Uh, God bless and good night. Aloha. Enough said, true believers. Bye-bye. <laughs>